when Thea Weiss began listening to her mother-in-law's Holocaust tales, she never imagined she would spend years turning the stories into artwork. So it was a topic that I only read in books or saw on television. None of my immediate friends either had family that had been involved. So when I met Lottie and Ali, they made it real for me. The exhibition, Fire and Ice, Survival of the Spirit, was inspired by Lottie Weiss's book and stories from her time in Auschwitz, Birkenau and Theresienstadt concentration camps. Thea was influenced by Lottie's stories while she was completing a Bachelor of Fine Arts in 2006 and her passion for bringing those stories to life has continued since. And I started my work then and I did paintings uh, installations and prints of Lottie's experiences uh, that she had told me over these years as well as she had written a book uh, eight years ago called My Two Lives about her experiences, her life before and after the war. Part of the current exhibition was first on display in a Sydney art gallery in 2008 to celebrate Lottie's 85th birthday. It then toured the Jewish Museum of Australia in Melbourne and then Virginia and Houston in America. This exhibition, Fire and Ice, Survival of the Spirit, is more my interpretation now of her experiences rather than relating the actual stories. Now, the original 10 pieces and 17 recently completed artworks, which utilize a wide range of artistic materials and mediums, are an exhibition at the Sydney Jewish Museum. Lottie had so many experiences, I interpret my work depending on the experience, what I, what I think, what medium suits it best. Amongst her many methods of extracting from Lottie's past, Thea drew from old photos and artifacts to recreate her stories. The first series is a triptych of of etchings, and it's taken from the only remaining photo of Lottie's family when she was three years old. And Lottie is sitting on her mother Bertha's lap, and the left picture shows Lily and her mother Bertha, and the middle one is Lottie, and the one on the right is her father Ignatz, her brother Carl Bernard, and her the next sister Erica. Thea is hopeful that people who see the exhibition will grasp an idea of Lottie's courageous story of survival, her enduring spirit and love of life. I want people to realize what Lottie went through, the horror the, that, that she experienced, but that she's a survivor, that she, her spirit has never been crushed by the Nazis, and that she, ha she believes in miracles and she's, there's a, she lives for every day and the, and the joy of being alive. Lottie, who is a volunteer guide at the museum, was almost speechless after seeing Thea's works based on her life. Every portrait and every picture reminds me of something and Thea brought it out so beautifully, naturally, that I really am only telling you that I could not imagine that anybody could do something like that with so much feeling, and I feel a great gratitude to her. Cassie Lee Khan, JNTV.